Get one on Ukraine, then I'll go back to that row. Go ahead. Just, um, the um, uh, the Ukrainians say, said today they're going they're going to have some sort of buffer zone in, um, in, in, in presumably in Russia, but you know the Russian Ukrainian area. I mean, this is something that's tried in mm. other parts of the world. Um, yeah. Uh, does the U.S. have any stance on this, particularly when territorial integrity is what the U.S. is? Uh, I, I don't have any immediate reaction, Sean. I'd have to uh, have our team uh, look into further uh, what. Um, the exactly our Ukrainian partners are referring to and what the contours of such a plan would be. So um, I'm happy to check and get back to you. Thanks. Sure, go ahead. Um, are you able to say whether US weapons are being used in the offensive in Chris? Uh, I will let our Ukrainian partners speak to their own military operations. And what concerns, if any, does the administration have about US weapons potentially being used in the offensive? Uh, look, Daphne, I think we've danced around this um, uh, issue uh, this whole week. And I, I will I will echo what I said to Alex and a couple others. Again, the only reason that you and I are even having this exchange is because uh, Russia is a country that uh, in February of 2022 uh, attempted to subjugate Ukraine's borders uh, illegally um, uh, and in total violation of uh, of the uh, of the UN Charter. And so our responsibility as the United States is to continue to stand with our Ukrainian partners. That's what we'll do as it relates to some of these uh, specific activities. Um, the U S has not been uh, engaged or involved in any of the planning or preparation for that, but uh, we continue to have a responsibility and will stand with our Ukrainian partners as they defend themselves. So is the U.S. okay with it if Ukraine does use U.S. weapons? In this our policy uh, has not changed, Daphne.